Hi everybody. I'm gonna see what's going on. Happy new moon. <laughs> I've just been hibernating. I don't like the Mercury retrograde energy. I pretty much just just try to hibernate and write it out. <laughs> but it's a new moon today, so there's some good energy out there too. All right, so this story, I'm not sure what the cards are going to say. Um, I've been doing these readings. I'm still doing the Zodiac readings, too. I'm going to be doing the um, individual Zodiac readings on um, Monday or Tuesday at the latest. Um, so it's possible, that, like I always say, it's possible that's your story and that this reading particularly might not resonate. This is probably only going to be for, I don't know, 10, 15 specific people. Um, so, yeah, if this isn't your reading, just... You know, keep watching the individual Zodiac readings. Maybe that's the energy group that you're in. All right, so let's see. What is the story? What do you need to know? We've got Five of Cups. So letting something go. Um, it could be an ex that's come back during Mercury Retrograde. Or maybe you're thinking about an ex, but you're processing it. Uh, Page of Wands. You do have a message coming in, though, it looks like. You, or you might. Um, you got Ace of Pentacles here, too. What, what else can we say about this energy? What else is going on? Knight of Pentacles, okay. So I feel like you have an ex that you're letting go of, or like maybe you're kind of missing them and you're processing it, but you also have someone coming forward. But this person is moving slowly. I don't know if this is a new person or an old person. I'm going to look into it. Hanged man. So that's about letting go, new perspective. Nine of Wands reverse. Let me straighten this out. Sorry, guys. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. So that's good. I think this is something you've been fighting for for a long time. I don't know if it's necessarily a specific person that you've been fighting for. I mean, it could be. Um, I'm going to lay all the cards out and see what they say. But I feel like it could also just be that you've been fighting for a love for a long time. Like you've been trying really hard to just finally get it right with someone. And you've been repeating certain patterns, like dating the same type of person over and over again, where you've kind of just started, stopped um, believing in love. And I feel like your hard work, you know, this energy, all this good energy that you put into love is, it's finally coming back to you. It's just that it's, it's been moving kind of slowly with the Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Pentacles, it's a, um, he moves, he or she moves a little bit more slowly, but they're very stable. Like this is someone who really thinks about this. Like this is planned out. This is more logical. This is something that's more um, long-term. It's not like the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Cups where it's like they come in and it's emotional and it's passionate, which is amazing. You do need that. But, you know, this Knight is good too because it's like it's this person actually um, – you know, is really thinking about this connection. Like they're really, they've taken the time to manifest this. So it's like when you guys do come together, you're ready for each other. It's not just impulsive, you know, it's going to be different than relationships you've been in, in your past. So this is either a new person coming in, or this is someone from your past that maybe had to go down their own path and learn their lessons the hard way. And they're coming back in um, down the road, but they're going to come back in more stable. Like they're not going to be the same person that you remember. They're going to be much more mature, much more, um, just wiser, just more experienced. Um, and you're, you're going to understand why things had to happen the way they did. It's, it's going to all just kind of fall into place. I remember getting very similar energy in my Gemini video that I did not long ago. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a Gemini to resonate with this, but it kind of reminds me of, of how I was saying, you know, your guides are giving you one final test to see if you're going to be a victim of the past and go back into the same patterns and routines, or are you going to fight for your future? And it looks like you're going down the right path here because um, you're letting go of something you might have had, see, these are, these are both about new beginnings. The page of wands is also about a romantic message. So I feel like maybe someone is coming in or has come in during Mercury retrograde, or maybe you're just having these memories come up of exes from your past, just kind of feeling lonely, kind of missing certain people, but it's like, you're letting it go and you're realizing that you don't want that energy. And you might kind of feel like the universe is messing with you a little bit right now. I mean, Mercury retrograde is a very um, 
deep introspective energy. So sometimes you have things come up and it's, it's like hard. It just, it can make you depressed. It can make you like upset, kind of emotional, confused because you're like, why am I thinking about this ex that I haven't even talked to in years? Like, why am I this lonely? Like, why am I missing this person that I, you know, have barely know, or I haven't, you know, we haven't connected in such a long time. And it's like, it's not the universe messing with you. Maybe there's just something um, about that connection that needed to be cleared out. Like maybe that needed to come up. Um, maybe it was like in your subconscious, like maybe it's something that's kind of been blocking you from love or just causing issues that you weren't even fully aware of. And it's like, maybe your guides just needed to bring that back up to the surface so that you can release it so you can understand it and move past it because it's like whatever this energy is it's being cleared out and so you have this new energy coming in like this is building a more stable solid foundation i think for some of you it's like you do still have to go down this path um to like manifesting this new person. It's like, it's not going to be rushed. It's not going to just be, um, I mean, for some of you, it might be, I'm not saying it's definitely not going to be, but if like, if this is your story, it's just, it's kind of saying something that's, um, it's more stable long-term. Like it might not come in overnight, but like when it does come in, you're going to be glad that you went through this. Like everything's just going to start making sense. It's like with the Ace of Pentacles here, I think that you're planting the seeds, like you're maybe using like a vision board or just working on manifesting the kind of relationship that you want, um, breaking old patterns, like setting yourself free from old patterns, just like visualizing um, just who you want to be and who you want to be with. And so it's, it's, a, it's a process, but it's saying it is manifesting, even if you can't see it in the physical right away, it, it is something that I do feel coming in for you guys. Um, cause like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's loyal and stable and, um, committed and they might not come in quickly overnight. I mean, they might, you might meet them quickly when you do meet them, but it's like, this is something that's going to be building up for a while. So we'll see how the story progresses. But, um, let me have the two of wands here. I think it's about you coming into a new perspective really, cause I think, so we got the hangman here too, and then we have the two of wands. So I feel like this is you coming into this, um, and like planning things out, coming into this new perspective. You know, the hangman is, is letting go. It's just letting go of control, just kind of surrendering to the universe, letting things flow naturally for you, um, just opening your heart chakra up as well. And with that energy, I feel like these two, these two cards are really going to go. Oh, sorry. I feel like these two cards really go together. It's like you're just trying to be more stable. You're trying to, to look at the bigger picture, look at things in, you know, the long-term approach. And I think that, so you passed this test, whatever this was, um, you know, you, you showed your the universe this commitment to the new life that you want. Um, you're, you're showing, it's, it's not just the universe, it's, it's for yourself as well. I don't, I don't really think that everything is just a test, but I feel like it's like you had two different paths that you could go down. You know, you could repeat the same cycles. You could have, you know, entertained this X or entertain this um, just negative patterns. But instead, you're choosing to break these patterns. You're choosing to manifest someone more stable. You're choosing to do things differently in your relationships. So when this person does come in, it's going to be more long lasting. Like you guys are just going to be on the same page. It's not really going to be like your previous relationships. It's not going to be such a battle. Nine of Wands reversed. It's it's not going to be a battle. It's not going to be constantly a struggle. Not, you know, all the dramas. It's going to be different. So the Pentacles, it's like this is something that you've worked and prayed for and bled for. Something that you've gone through hell and back for. And that could just be love in general. Like maybe just, just in not with a specific person, but maybe just in general. It's like you've given a lot of yourself to the wrong people, the wrong situations, Maybe you're finally becoming aware of these patterns that you have in your relationships. And so you're taking the time and dedication to break those patterns and manifest someone that might not be your usual type. And, you know, it, it might be a process for you, but you do have the Knight of Wands coming in sooner or later. You know, you do have this love coming in. You do have justice for all the things that you've been through, all the heartbreaks, all the, the patterns um, you're, you're going to understand why things happen the way they did. You're going to be thankful that you didn't end up with, 
you know, exes that you might have wanted to, um, maybe, maybe exes that you current, that you at one point thought were the one thought, you know, that was true love. And you're going to meet someone who's not your usual type. And you're going to be so glad that you did this work, that you went down this different path that you, um, and it reminds me of that. What is it? The Tracy Chapman song. We've got to make a decision, leave tonight or live and die this way. I kind of feel like like that. Not saying that anyone's going to die, but I'm saying like, it's, it's kind of like some, like, I think, I think she wrote that about like, I don't, I don't know if she wrote that about like being in a small town or being like stuck in the same energy, but it was kind of like, you know, like decide you want to be like in the same dead end relationship with the same type of people again and again. Do you want to stay in the same town that you've been in for the last 20 years? Like, or do you want to go down a different path? and see what happens and just, you know, open yourself up to different possibilities, you know, and it might be scary and stressful at first. It's, it's not, it might be bumpy. It's not going to be perfect, but you know, you're at this crossroads where you get to choose between these two paths. And one of them is just very familiar. It's just the same stagnant energy again and again, same patterns repeating over and over again. And this other path is, it's scary and it's unfamiliar. There's a lot of, of risk involved. There's a lot of just, you know, trusting the unknown, um, making some major life changes, but it's like, it seems like that's more worth it in the end. Like you kind of have to push yourself out of this stagnant energy, out of the same routines that you've been repeating over and over again. Um... And so if you're choosing to go down that path of the unfamiliar, it's like you're you're also going to start attracting and being attracted to different types of people. And, and so like I was saying, that might not happen overnight. That's not, if you have these deep rooted patterns, um, especially ones that have like originated from childhood that you keep repeating, it's, it's like, it's not, it doesn't mean that it's just going to go over away overnight. I mean, you know, it takes, you really have to be conscious of it. It's, it's going to take work to, um, to, you know, end those patterns. Sometimes it takes psychological help to end, end those patterns as well. Um, you know, full disclaimer, I'm not, not a psych, not a therapist or anything like that. You know, sometimes you do need psychological help with, with stuff like this. It, you know, I mean, sometimes you do need that, um, someone who's more familiar with like the, the way the subconscious works and the subconscious patterns and how to, um, go down that path that you want to go down, if that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, I just, I see it. It might be scary at first. It might, it might feel very unfamiliar. You might feel kind of like you're stuck in limbo for a while, but I do see it. Eventually you have this nine of pentacles coming in and you wouldn't have been, if you had gone down the other path, you probably wouldn't have been interested in this person. Like you might've seen them as just a friend or like they just, their energy wouldn't resonate with you or like you wouldn't have been ready for them. Um, but it's kind of like if you go down this other path, some of you it's traveling. Some of you are thinking about traveling and I think this is saying to go for it. Um, cause I get like a very like adventurous, free spirited kind of spiritual energy. Like just, just like take this leap of faith. Like just make some, like just do the thing, like just go down this new path. You know what I mean? Um, and you could meet them while traveling as well. It's possible for some of you. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like if you go down this new path, it's like your your mind is going to change. Like your mind is going to open up. You're going to look at things from a higher perspective. You're going to start seeing things differently. You're not going to feel so stuck the way that you have been. Um, and, and so you have this, this like Knight of Pentacles um, coming in. Let me look into the Knight of Pentacles as well. Because with justice, it's like you have justice coming in for your your faith, for your your um your bravery, for your willingness to push yourself out of your comfort zone, for your willingness to to take control of your life and change your life and make your life what you want it to be. Um, for for your willingness to do those things, you're gonna have justice coming in. Like all the love that you've been giving to the wrong people is just gonna come back to you in the form of the right person. Um, and like I said, this isn't gonna be your typical relationship where it's like instant lust and then there's the chaotic fights or drama or they use you or they try to borrow money from you or whatever it's, it's more it's more stable like this person has their own money I feel Knight of Pentacles would probably have their own money 
they're more they're lo loyal and stable and like I said for some of you this is a new person for, for others this could be an ex even an ex from years ago that you never thought you'd hear from again that might um, maybe needed to work on themselves and they might you know bump into you or hit you up randomly or like they see you on like social media like mutual friends or something and you know, just start like a casual conversation, but it's like they've changed a lot over the course of a few years or so. I don't feel like this would be someone that you've um, left recently because this feels like someone who had to work on themselves for a long time, like they had to go through a lot to become someone who's stable and loyal and grounded and brave and honest and um, has integrity. Um, and is able to commit long term. Like this is someone who had to do a lot of work on themselves. So I don't feel like this would be someone that like was a complete mess a few months ago and left you and now they're coming back. It's like, no, this is like years and years of work. So this is either a new person or it's someone that you haven't um, had contact with for years, I feel. Unless they just did a ton of, of soul growth in the, in the course of a year. But I, I, I mean, this is so it's such a stable energy that I doubt that. I doubt it. Um, temperance card. Yeah, this is going to be balanced. Like I said, it's going to be the passion and the love and the, and the emotion is going to be there, but it's not going to be um, chaotic like your, like your past relationships have been. I feel like this is just more grounded. Like you're going to have the friendship too. It's possible you'll even have like a friendship with them, kind of flirt, and then it just kind of leads to that. Like naturally, it's like you guys are just going to understand each other. I swear, new moods always freak me out because I feel like I'm always seeing things out of the corner of my eye. I don't like it. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I love the, I like, I love the new moon energy, but it kind of scares me sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Stay away, ghosties. Chariot, yeah. You have someone coming forward, but they're coming forward balanced. They're coming forward, you know, with a stable um, love offer. Might be silence between you guys right now, but it's like, before you know it, you're going to be starting this new life, you know? I feel like it could also be saying, like, let go of this, because we got the Five of Cups first, so it's like, whoever this ex is that you're not talking to, that you're upset over, it's like, don't go down that path anymore, you know? Start this new life with this this other person. Um, I don't know if the cards want to say anything else. Could be a, a fire sign. Could be a, a fire sign. Or a water sign. Hmm. Could be a someone in the person in feminine energy. Could be a water sign in the person in masculine energy. We could could be a fire sign for some of you. Not for all of you, but you know. Empress. Yep. Stepping into your power. Three of Pentacles. Building something together. Yeah. I feel like I feel like you're you're contemplating some life changes. You're at a crossroads, and and what you choose next is really going to determine your future and um, what kind of energy that you want to manifest. So like I said, with the Knight of Pentacles, for some people, you don't, for some of you, you know, this is someone from your past that had to go down a separate path and, and kind of learn the, the hard way and they might be coming back around. It might be really unexpected. But like I said, I feel like this probably would be someone you have not had contact with for a long time. For others, this is a new person. And if you keep feeding the exes and you keep going down that same path and like entertaining, um, or just entertaining people that treat you like crap, it's like, you're not going to be able to manifest this just because it's not going to be in your energy field. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to resonate with that energy. Like if your guides brought this person into you now, you would not be attracted to them. Your energy would not resonate with them because you're used to being treated like crap. Does that make sense? Like sometimes people say like, why is the universe not bringing me love? Why is the universe not bringing me love? And I get how painful that energy is. Like I'm there with you guys a lot of the time. Like I get it. It sucks. Like it hurts a lot, but it's like, if you're in the, if you're st if you still have that pattern where you're not attracted to genuinely good loyal people like if you're still drawn to emotionally unavailable people then it's like no matter how much you beg for it and pray for it the universe can't bring you this true love because their energy won't resonate with you you know what I mean? Like someone that wants to treat you like a queen or treat you like a king and just spoil you and love you and there's no trauma like they're just like pure innocent good you know what I mean? Like, like having like that best friendship, like, like they just, they just get you. There's no, there's no chaos. There's no, you know what I mean? Like that too good to be true energy. And it's like, if you're in that energy where you're, where you still have those patterns, it's like, you won't resonate with this. Cause it's just, it's, it's like your subconscious patterns will take over. You know what I mean? Like, 
you have to break those patterns because if your guides brought this if you're in that energy and your guides brought this in now you would probably just friend zone them you would probably be like this you'd probably either just not be attracted to them or you'd go on a few dates and you'd be like this person is too normal they're too good to be true there's got to be a catch and you would create drama and you would sabotage this i'm sorry i don't mean that personally like it's not it's not saying anything bad about you it's like oh it's human nature a lot of people do that but You know what I mean? It's like some people just have that addiction to to the chaos. It's it's kind of like a safety net too. It's like you're, it's it's like predictable. It's it's terrifying to just com fall completely deeply in love with someone, and like just let go and just be like, oh my god, this is like this is good. This is right. There's nothing wrong here. You know what I mean? A lot of people are afraid of that, and so they sabotage it and they think of little things that are wrong with the person, or they think of reasons, they make excuses why it wouldn't work out because they want to have that sense of control. They're, you know, people. A lot of people are just afraid of falling that deeply in love. So it's just that kind of energy where it's like, you know, if you're still, if you're still repeating those patterns of going for emotionally unavailable people, then you might not be attracted. You might just see them as like a friend or you might have some feelings, but you're like, they're too normal. I'm not good enough for them or it's too good to be true. I bet they're hiding something um, like, like you would bring outside negativity in when it doesn't need to be in this connection you know what I mean and it could also be them it could be that you're totally ready for some of you you're probably you're probably ready for some of you you've, you've already broken these patterns like you're good your energy is clear like you already know what you deserve and what you want it's just that this person might not be ready maybe they need to go through some stuff before they're in this nine of pentacles energy um they could be going through like a karmic breakup or some drama or some chaos or something right now. And so even if you're ready for them, maybe they just need a little bit more time to get ready before they come forward in the physical. Um, yeah. And you've got to remember too, like as you, as if you start developing genuine confidence, your pattern will change too. Like you won't be attracted to your exes. And you'll start being attracted to people like this, people that are stable, loyal, grounded. You know what I mean? Like, you will, you'll look at things differently. Like, say you let um, people borrow money from, like, people in, like that you're in relationships, like, use you for money or sex or um, they talk down to you and you just kind of put up with it. Like, you're going to, like being, I don't want to say embarrassed, but you're going to look back at it and you're going to be like, oh my God, why did I ever put up with that? Like, why was I not turned off? Why did I not like, when I went on that date and that guy said this, why did I not pour my drink on him and walk out? Like, why did I just sit there and tolerate that? Like, you're going to be baffled. Like, you're not going to, you're going to get to a point where you're like, I would never like, no, just like you would never do the things that you would used to do in your relationships. You know what I mean? Like your perspective will change. Like, you won't be attracted to those people. You will not resonate with that energy. You will not want that anymore. Um, and you'll want people who are too good to be true. You know, people who are stable, who are grounded, who are who are loyal. And you can have the passion, too. It's totally not saying that you need to, like, live a boring life or anything like that. Like, you'll have the passion and the romance and the good sex life and all of that with this person. The only difference is you're not going to be, like, arguing at each other's throats or, like, being ghosted or being used for money or sex or um, having them cheat on you or whatever else. Like, who needs all that? That's not romantic. That's that's lonely and painful. You don't want all that. You know what I mean? Like, you can have the passion and romance with a stable person who knows how to do that right. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be toxic to be exciting and interesting. Like, you can have... You can have the passion, you can have the excitement, you can have the romance, you can have all the things you want with someone who's stable. And then you have the friendship on top of it too, so you have that solid base to make this last. Um, why is my camera freaking out? But, um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's where we're at. And, and I think that you're also, if you're choosing to go down this new path, like you're choosing to start a new life, you're choosing like, you know what, I'm gonna, I don't care how long it takes, um, for some of you, it's going to be a journey. I mean, you, you guys are all in different stages. Some of you have already broken these patterns. Some of you are in the process of breaking them. Some of you are about to make this commitment to breaking these patterns. But we're at whatever stage you're at in this journey, it's, it's like it might be a process, but it's, it's saying that in the end, you have justice. In the end, you have the love that you deserve coming in. In the end, that you have someone stable and loyal coming in, you know, with the chariot here. So, you, you know, you got to just go through it. You got to stay committed to the life that you want. 
um, with with money, with career, with love, with traveling, with with you know everything. You gotta you know find that balance, but but stay committed to this life that you're asking the universe for. And some of you are just starting to manifest this person. Like I said, some of you have not met this person, and you're just starting to think about like like sitting down maybe even with a new moon maybe some of you have just done some um like love drawing rituals or um like vision boards or affirmations like i want this person to you know be loyal or stable or i want them to feel like this or i want them you know just like getting into that that energy and, and manifesting and it's saying those seeds like you're planting those seeds so this this is working it might be a process but keep it up um, keep it up. You know, you got justice coming in. So I hope this resonates. I also do paid private readings if you're interested. My email is below. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, just for the spelling of it, just check below in the description box. And um, yeah, any donations are also appreciated. Thank you guys for watching.